Nook neck, patch duck, nook, everyone, as they say in Klingon. This is Nalzi here, and it's time to play some Game Dev Tycoon. Hope you're all feeling good and ready to rock. I have looked through the previous video and gotten some excellent suggestions for some hopefully uh, great uh, games that's going to make us some bloody money. Um, uh, so, yeah, um, for those of you wondering, my toothache is a little bit better. I've got a nice benzocaine uh, topical anesthetic. Um, mm, mm, called Origel. It's amazing. Anyway, let's go and make a game, shall we? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Boss, a small number of dedicated fans have asked that we release a, the source code to one of our older game engines, Protection 1.0. Doing so would surely satisfy the fans, but we worked hard on that engine. We could also sell instance for it and make some money. Hmm. Give it away. I want to make money from games. And we'll probably get tons of fans for that. I'm going to get you to do some quick training. No, in fact, research. What can we research? What have we got left? Um, let me see the stories that we've got planned. Or the games we've got planned today. Da, 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 da. None of that. Da, 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 da. No. Maybe this, actually. Dialogue tree. Uh, right. Well, the first game, anyway. Um, yeah, the first game... Wait, we'll wait for this guy to come back and off a holiday. Boss, our recent decision to give away the Protection 1.0 was met with positive responses from fans. Overall, we gained 1,000 fans and it cost us minus 3.8,000. Okay. Right, welcome back, Louis. Let's make a game. Develop a new game? Yeah. Now, I got this a lot in the comment section. People wanted me to make Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, there's an achievement for it and apparently it goes down quite well. So let's do that. We're going to make it a sci-fi... Um, Action adventure? No, I'm, I'm always joking. I'm gonna make it a simulation. Have we not researched game development actually? Oh, snappers. Oh well, the secret's out. Um, it seems that our market is normalized with no particular strong trends. Okay. I want you to research. New topic then, game dev. Ah, there we are. Start research. Right, now I want you to research. What else is there? We have 41 research points. We've got quite a lot. Um. Day and night cycle, 15 RP. Hmm, I don't know, I just do not know. I'll tell you what, you guys can just do some training. Uh, what are you low on? Technology? Technology plus plus. This one. Yeah, get your technology up, Louis. Nalzi, you can do some training as well, actually. <laughs> Nalzi is pretty much all round boss, but he could do with some more speed or research, I guess, so. Speed plus plus plus. Let's do this. Come on, train. There we go. Okay, they're doing some training. Wow, the train gives a lot. Uh, the big game convention take place in four weeks. Do you wish to participate? Yeah, sure. Let's participate in that. Let these fellas finish their uh, training. The little bars are there in the background. Man, we really need to do more training. This is sick. I did not realize it gave you such a boost. Oh my flip. Look at how much tech this guy. Look how much is Nazi. Oh my god. Mayor's life two re-elections off the <laughs> off the shelves. Alright, guys. Right, Nazi, you finished. Great job, right? Let's make a new game. Alright, so game dev tycoon. I have I've only got one name for the person. Uh, I picked up Veers with a Z. Uh, suggested it, but so many people suggested it, so I thought, you guys want to see it, then I will bring it. Um, simulation, yes, yes, yes. Pick engine. Professional 2.0, Game Dev Tycoon, spelled correctly, everyone. Game Dev Simulation PC, next. Um, 2D Graphics V2, certainly. Let's do it. Oh, oh, it's actually doing Game Dev Tycoon, okay. <laughs> Means we might have some nice hype for this game then. We're not pr probably not going to have a lot of people at our stand because we haven't been doing it for a while. Imagine this is going to be a quiet one. Oh, we're doing alright here, actually. 66k. Not bad, is that it? Yeah, okay. We had 66,000 people. We didn't make it top. Of course we didn't. But we've got 15,000 fans, right? Gameplay, plus, 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 yes. Engine, yes. Story quests, low, correct. Um, right, that looks good. Get some initial... Now, people said not to market things too quickly. To let it build a little bit. Dialogue's low. AI, very high. Level design, like here, maybe. Ooh, actually, don't know. I 
don't know about this actually. Better dialogues, let's put that in as well. No, no, better, we're not putting better dialogues in there. Right, okay. Right, now we mark it. So the, the, the story was just don't mark it too quickly because the hype just doesn't work properly or something, I don't know. We're down to 380k, <laughs> oh fuck. Right, sound, let's put that up to 75. People also said that plus, plus three is 100%, plus two is like 75%. So that makes sense to me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. We don't need an open world in sim in this simulation. Uh, let's do that. The hype is building. The day Vena fans have long awaited for has arrived as Vena has announced their next generation console, the Dreamvast. A company spokesperson said the Dreamvast is a dream come true. This console is the most advanced gaming console in the history. Uh, right? Yeah, we're not gonna be adopting into that because Dreamcast was a piece of shit. Right, we've got a lot of nice hype for this game. We'll iron out the bugs. Done. Finish. Here's all our experience. New topic, new combo. Okay. We've leveled up AI again. Oh, we've leveled up our graphics, our 2D graphics. We've released the game. AI companions. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Right, the first reviews are in. Here we go. Here we go. Do I not get an achievement for this? Outstanding game from Star Games. That's a nine. Come on, give me some tens. They achieved a great balance between technology and design. Uh, love it from Game Hero. Come on, give me the 10. Oh, oh, yeah. All games gives it a 9. Okay, this is a good game. You, I want you to generate the game report. Yes, on that. You, I want you to train. What are you low on now? Design. Yeah. Nalzi, you can train as well. Nalza, you train on research, please. No, not research. Design as well. There we go. Alright. Oh, there's our achievement. Hooray! Develop a game within a game. Good, we got our got the achievement out of the way. Here comes the money. Boss, our office could really do with some renovation work. Now computer systems are also out of date. Investing a little bit in the company. To investing a little bit in a more modern office and upgrade computers would be great. Do you want to renovate the office? Yeah. Okay. Oh, jeez. This is a nice office now, though. Look at this fucking thing. Beautiful. Beautiful office. I'm sure that off the back of this... Wait, what's this? Dear Best and Greatest Games, since G3 has become the biggest meetup of game developers every year, we've decided to use our name for the greater good. Starting today, we offer different game development challenges throughout the year where game devs from all around the world can compete with each other. This will be a great way to, for game developers to learn something new. You're welcome to join in in any way. There are no prizes, but it should be a great way to convince everyone's skills, the G3 committee. Okay... Uh, our AI seems important. Yeah, we did that. We did good combination as well. Excellent. The money's rolling in. He's sitting there doing fuck all. Jared. Right, you guys finish with your research plucks. You guys finished. Right, now let's have a look at contract work. Um, It's probably not worth it. Five weeks. No, it's not going to be worth it, is it? Let's have a look at the publishing. Let's see if there's any publishing deals that we could take part in. We haven't got hospitals, so let's forget that one. We haven't got the play system license, so let's forget that one. Uh, any topic adventure. Okay. Mm. I actually think I've got uh, an adventure game planned over here on my other screen. Play with 7% of Broadway, minimum score 4, game size medium. I think we could do it. Do you want to try this one? Let's try it. Penalty of 130k. Let's fucking try it. Ad ad adventure. Adventure. Yes. Okay. The, this this comment comes from the comment section of the previous video from the Iron Menus, and his game was The Man of Iron, and it's a story. It's a story about Iron Man's brother is a bad man, and you have to you have to get him. Um, he's a bad man, so we have to kill Iron Man's. I thought it was very funny. Um. Adventure, yep. Yeah. And Game System Protection 2.0. This is going to be a big game. This is going to be a big fucking game. This is one... The Man of Iron. Oh, man. <laughs> this is going to be a fucking game. All right, here we go. The Man of Iron, next. The game doesn't even want to go next. It's too scared. Now, I want to put this in 3D graphics, but I know that this is the best that we have at the moment. It's 2D graphics v2. We could do it in 2D. It can be like a nice kind of like... 
It can be like a comic book 2D like game. Okay, so who are we? What are we doing here? Gameplay, story quests, action. Ooh, this is gonna be tricky. Okay, engine, right? Uh, drag staff here. So Nalzi on the design uh, is our top designer. Right. Okay, but our tech here. Uh, Nalzi's a top tech guy as well, actually. Gameplay. Let's put Nalzi on gameplay. Okay. Let's say story and quest fifty percent. Yeah. Let's say engine twenty five percent. Let's say gameplay one hundred percent. Right. Louis. Let's put that a little bit higher, actually. Louis, I want you there. And I want no, I want Jared, you there. Put a linear story in there as well. Oh, man. It's going to be one expensive fucking game. The hype is the building without me even doing anything. Let's market this game. Let's just do advertisements. We don't need demos and magazines. <laughs> Hi, this is Andrew McNamara from Game Informant. I got word that Best and Greatest Games is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information about your current game project and do an interview? Of course, always. Many of our readers are curious about what decisions go into making a video game and how companies prioritise development areas. Your new game, Sci-Fi Adventure, your new Sci-Fi Adventure, can you tell us whether such a game would usually receive more focus on sound or world design? Ooh. Interesting question. Sound. I think. Thank you for your time. I, I'm going to put a lot of stuff into sound, so. In a recent interview, blah, 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 Nazi, uh, Nazi, blah, an interview, Nazi said, sound is particularly important for such a game, but it seems that then professionals disagree with that point. If you've seen it, world design is more. Oh, shit. I was wrong. So, world design is actually more important than sound. That kind of helps me, to be honest. Dialogue is 100%. Level design, okay, low. Shit, I might have made a mistake there then. AI. Yeah, okay, I'll put that there. Better dialogues. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so Nilesy, I want you working here. Uh, Louie, I want you working here. And Jared. No, wait. No, I want Jared working there. And Louie, you can work there. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good to me. Okay. Our hype's not very high. Game Dev Tycoon's off the market. Right. right we're going to put Jared on vacation. I've also learned that you put people on vacation as soon as you can. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> AI is slowly uh, progressing there. Okay. Okay. What have we got here? World design. Okay. Very high then. Sound. What's that? I don't know. Let's put graphics there and let's put sound there. Right? Now we're going to put... Oh, shit. We're going to overwork people here, aren't we? No. I'm going to put Niles on the sound. Niles, he's overworked. Uh, I'm going to put Jared here. And Louis there. What if I put Niles there? No. Niles there. Yeah, Niles has to go there. Oh, shit. Niles he's doing all the work. No fucking wonder I'm getting overworked here. Hold on a second. I didn't realize that's... What, what, what the hell? What kind of system is that? Right, Niles there. No. Okay, right there. All right, I think that's going to be the best we can do. Open world, yes. We're plug. We're putting all our eggs in this basket. Go. Hype's building. Jared's is scratching his ears. Jared, don't sit. Pete, sit there and scratch your ears. Hope everyone's doing good. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, haven't played game dev in a while. I could be just bogged down with other games, but I, I did, did miss it. So I was like, fuck, I need to play some game dev. Iron out those bugs before we lose fans. There, finish. Okay, now this is our first publishing contract. Now he's leveled up. Release game. Pro professional. Reach level 5 with a character. Someone on your team has reached level 5. This unlocks a special training item called Boost. The training for it is expensive and you can only do it once. The character has at least 500 design or technology points, but the investment is well worth it. Once trained, the boost allows you to temporarily increase the output of your staff and can really help you make a hit game. Special training is available for Nilesy. Okay. Right, Jared. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Enjoyable. Okay, I need over a four. Played it for days in Forum Gamer. Played it for days. Yeah. Love it from Game Hero. 
No, come on now. Good game. Good game. Okay, we can live with good game, Jared. Send a vacation. Generate a game report, please, for the Man of Iron. 7.5. Not bad. We're down to 24,000. We're not going to be able to pay rent. We're selling a fucking lot of units, though. The money is... Thank goodness the money is coming in. Ubersoft, the game meets the required ratings. We are looking forward to future business. Excellent. Thank fuck. We're, we've sold a million units. My god, having a publisher is amazing. Our post draws Okay, dialogues seem to be very important for this type of game. Oh, did I fuck... I think I fucked up the dialogues. I didn't get dialogues properly. All right. Nalzi, are you cool? Nalzi's cool. Right, what research is available? AI companions. What games have we got left? Oh shit, I've only made like one game. Right, I'm going to make a game then. Develop a game. Now this one's called Terror at 30,000 Feet. And it's a homage to um, the old... Uh, what do you call it? Wait, we do have this, right? Yeah, Airplane Simulation for the PC. It's a homage to the old um, Twilight Zone episode. If you haven't seen it, then what are you doing? Uh, it stars William Shatner, and that's where the famous line, uh, there's something on the wing, something, uh, comes from. And it's going to be an airplane simulator. Now, the person who recommended this was TZ Pup. So thank you, TZ Pup, for the recommendation. Um, he had another name. I thought his name was terrible. I added the name, but it, has, it was his idea to do this. Now, my idea is that you are, you, your game begins and it's like a scenario type game, right? You get tons of scenarios. And you load in the scenario and you're in a plane and it's about to crash, right? So you're like in the sky somewhere and as soon as you start the game, bang. Wait, and then I didn't snap my finger there. Bang. It, it, you know, you're in a disaster situation. <clears throat> and to complete the scenario and to win the level, you need to stop the plane from crashing. So, like, you need to go through, like, intensive training and stuff to learn, like, what's wrong with the train. Uh, it's not the train, the plane. So imagine when I'm playing Train Simulator and I can't get the engine to start. Like, and I'm like, why am I, why is it not working? If you were in terror at 30,000 feet, the game, then, like, you're like, why is it not starting? I'm going to die, you know, and it's, oh, it's a great game. So we're going to do that. We're going to put it on 3D graphics. We have to start leveling that up. That's probably going to bring us down, but that, you know, we can't do nothing. Right, that there, 50% on the engine. I have learned these things. Uh, let me well, put all of that shit in there, why not? Man, that game, that Man of Iron game, brought us in some money. Story, let's... Dialogues, fuck off. AI, yeah, sure. Level design, 25%, why not? Okay. Because we're going to want the level, you know, we're going to want it to look good outside. Like when you're out, when you're looking outside the airplane and stuff. And, you know, you have to not only deal... That sounds like a fucking great game to me, to us. You not only have to deal with, like, you know, the plane crashing, but you have to keep the crew and the passengers calm. So, like, it will work with your microphone. So, like, you know, you go bing bong. Hi there, this is um, your pilot Liam speaking. Uh, we seem to be... Coming in hot over uh, Philadelphia. Don't be alarmed. We're just experiencing some mild turbulence, and everything is going to be fine. You know that kind of thing. It'd be brilliant. Um, I think it'd be really interesting. And yeah, oh, you have to control the plane. You have to stop the plane. Oh, it's great. Anyway, oh my god, I want to play this game. Uh, game graphics, yes, sound, sure, fifty percent. Raw design, apparently not. There we go. No, we need to level up 3D graphics. Someone mentioned that in the comments as well. And I was like, well, what they said is, uh, Nalzi, you know, if you don't use 3D graphics, it's never going to level up. And I was like, he's got a fucking point. Uh, finish that game. Done. In two months, the Vinyl Oasis will take her off the market. Give a shit. All right, here we go. New combo. New topic. Leveled up 3D graphics. Louis is leveled up. Great. Good job. You're probably getting a fucking pay rise. Yeah, there it is. Asshole. Right, Louis, go on vacation. You... What? True. Yeah, okay. Small booth. Where's my... Oh, yeah. I was like, why, why can't I do a, a game report? Okay. Oh, here we go. I see a 10. I see an 8. Okay, an 8's not bad. 7? Oh, man. What did we fuck up? World design should have been higher, maybe. Give me that 10. Stop teasing me with the 10. 8 is, a, eight is fine. We're bringing in some cash. Let's generate a game report, see what we've messed up on. 7.5, the same as the Man of Iron. And there's a clear trend towards casual games recently. 
Have we researched casual games actually? Um, wait a minute. Have we researched casual games? Yeah, we have, but we've never done one. Hmm. We could do a casual game. Right, Man of Iron is off the market. It sold 1.8 million. Jesus. That is a good amount of money. <laughs> Thank God for that game. <laughs> right, so airplane is a good... Graphics seems to be very important for this heavy... I already knew that stuff, though. That's a bit shitty. Um, hmm. Right, what have I got next? Let's click that just so I can have a look at my other screen. So, a couple of other... Um, done that one. Done that one, done that one. Military. Um, sim. <laughs> uh, let's say mature. Yeah? And we're calling it Team Five Tris. Now, this was a, a com combo of me and the Magic Wizard who suggested this in the comment section in the previous video. Mature, we're putting on PC. 2.0 in the professional. Uh, should we make a casual game first? I kind of want to make a casual game. I just want to foray into the casual scene. Let's make a... I'm going to make Team Fivetress, but let's make a dungeon. Uh, RPG or adventure? Hmm. RPG or adventure? Fuck RPG. Uh, adventure? Yeah. Action, adventure, yeah, PC. I'm going to call it um, The Legend of... Who could it be The Legend of? Mm, it's not going to be Legend of Nazi. It's not going to be Legend of Linden. I know that's what you're thinking. Um, fuck it, Legend of Linden. I actually kind of like that. Saying it out loud made me think that's a good... Wait, do I need to select... Wait, Dungeon Casual. Yes, for everyone. No, wait. We're going to make it for the young, and we're going to put it on the gameling. 3D graphics. Uh, no, actually, I want three, 2D graphics for this one. The Legend of Linden. This is going to be a good game, man. Uh, right, so gameplay, story quests. I don't know. I'm out in the dark here with this. I don't know. Story quests? I don't... This is going to be a learning experience, this one, folks. I'm sorry. Linear story, save game tutorials, better user experience, save game, simple cutscene. Do we really need story? We don't really need um, cutscenes. 2D cutscenes. Really? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this is really, this is a tough one. To me, this is a really tough one. Let's market it very quickly. Oh! The Legend of Linden, I forgot, I forgot about G3. I want to see what game, what D, uh, G3 challenges are available. Man, this game is something else. It takes so much time to play. Like, I'm sitting here playing it. I've recorded for 24 minutes. I don't even feel like I've been playing that much. 90,000 people. We didn't make it to the top 100. That's fine. We'll get there eventually. All right, guys, get, get working on that. The hype, oh, the hype is fucking rolling in because of G3. Right, I, I don't know, a, a casual game? I'm thinking it's like a puzzle solver. Like a puzzler. Like a Binding of Isaac type thing. Dialogues, I'm putting that down here. AI. Dungeon? AI? No, the game's a dungeon, so probably level design. Because the, the, the fucking name of it is a dungeon. It's a dungeon, so the... There. Oh, this is a... This is a tricky one, I think. I'm not sure this game's going to go well, you know. But at least we'll get a good game report and we'll find out for the next time. Raw design, yes. Graphics, yeah, I guess. 75, sound 50. It'd be nice if they had little numbers here so we can actually make sure we're doing it right. Right, there we go. World design, I think it's going to be important here. Again, it's a dungeon. We're in a dungeon, so the world's going to have to be very fleshed out. The hype's quite high. 50 hype. Get rid of these bugs before we release. Finish. So here we go. Here we fucking go. New topic, new combo. Our engine's leveled up. And Jared's leveled up. Fucking pay rise for Jared. 
We can now research video playback. Oh, interesting. First reviews are in. The Legend of Linden. Please, God. I saw one. Their focus on gameplay served this game very well. Okay. Oh, fuck. Not bad. Not good. <laughs> Meh. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guys. Terror, 30,000 feet, did quite well. Jared, I want you to develop a game report. We need to learn more about um, the casual game market. Did I put it on PC? Oh, why? Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, my gosh. That's bad. I shouldn't have done... Damn it. Sorry, everyone. I'm really so fucking fuck off. I made a mistake, guys. Calm down. But god damn it. That was supposed to be on the game line. Dungeon and casual is a terrible combination. Engine seems to be not at all important. Platform genre match terrible. Yeah, okay, okay. So we made a lot of mistakes there. <laughs> terrible combination. Casual dungeoneer. I thought it would be a good idea. Desktop dungeons is a casual fucking fuck you. Multi-genre. Oh, yes. We're going to research that right now. And I want you to research. Louis, we're going to, everyone's going to be doing research now, okay? Video playback for the engine. Yeah. Nalzi, I want you to research. Um, uh, yeah. 2D graphics, V3. Have we not got the money? Have we not got the research points? Okay. Um... Ba -ba -ba -bum. 40 points. Branching story, AI companions. Yeah. Because we're doing a lot of AI games, aren't we? <laughs> Look at all these boys. Should we get another staff member, maybe? I don't feel like we need a staff member. I feel like we need a couple of big hitters under our belts before we do that. Completed video playback, completed AI companions. Multi genre. Master V will be off the market soon. Okay. Let's develop. In fact, what um, what publishing deals are available? Vocabulary, a strategy, minimum score at an eight. Holy fuck! Minimum score of six. Any topic, any genre, medium, mature for the gameling. Ugh, no way. Any topic. Okay, this is not a bad one. Any topic, any genre, for any medium. What? Men score four. This is just like a fucking no-brainer. Yeah, I'll accept that. Right, hold on though. I want to see something. Find contract work. Where was those G three things? Remember those? Remember what it said there was G three um, options to kind of play, uh, to do stuff. It's not here. I don't think. Right. Publishing deal. We're gonna do this last one. Yeah, blue bit games. Accept. Okay, pick a genre. Yeah. It's going to be an action adventure. Is it? No. No. <laughs> what am I going to do? I don't know. I'm looking. I'm looking at my other screen. I haven't got any other suggestions open. I didn't think I'd be playing for this long, but I'm, 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 I don't want to give up. Oh, wait. Team Fivetress, of course. Um, military. Wait a minute. Action. Wait a minute. Simulation. An action simulation. What would go well with it? An action adventure. A military action adventure. Team Fivetress. I know it's not the, the military sim we had planned, but um, I don't know. I seem. I feel that this is good. Platform. Casual. No. Yeah. Exactly. Get the fuck away. Uh, adventure. Action. Yeah. Let's. Should we make it mature? Let's make it fucking mature. Game engine, yeah, yeah, let's do it. 2D graphics v v2, 3D graphics v1. Start the dev. I know it's a it's a medium game. I'm not putting out a medium game without any fucking 3D graphics. I'm sorry, but that's just ridiculous. Right, a military action adventure. What's that going to be focused on? Um, gameplay, yeah, absolutely. Engine, probably not as much. Story quest, probably a lot. Nazi. You're going to deal with the gameplay, because you're a goddamn legend. Louis, you're going to deal with... That. Because you're shit. Right, next. Right, let's market this beast. 
Legend Linden's off the market. We won't talk about how many units it sold. <laughs> oh, poor Legend of Linden. Okay. I probably marketed that a little bit too early. I don't give a shit. Okay, level design, AI, dialogues. Dialogues, military action venture. Yeah. Level design, yeah. AI, not as much. Maybe, I don't know. Don't know about that one. Um, Louis, in fact, can you deal with this? Louis, Nelsie. Okay, everyone's workload seems balanced. I'm happy with that. The hype is not... What is this? Oh, it's not one of these fucking decrypted messages. This is a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to gain access to some critical systems of one of your competitors. If you want to play war games, then transfer 99k to the enclosed location and we'll initiate sabotage. No, go away. I'm never going to do that. Because then they'll do it to me. What is this? The play system 2. Unlike the Dreamvast, the play system 2 does not focus much on online play, but instead focuses on strengths of the previous play system. A solid upgraded controller, including vibration function, upgraded graphics, support for DVD titles, and even backwards compatibility. Yeah, that was a big one. Notice how the new one doesn't have backwards compatibility, doesn't it? It's a bit sucky. Right, the hype's building very slowly. Not getting much hype at all for this game. Nobody gives a shit. Graphics. Sound. Graphic sound is very important for this type of game. It's got to be. Raw design. Down here. Right, who's, like, what is in charge? Louis, you're dealing with this. Nazi, you're dealing with this. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty balanced. There. That is a really low hype. Fuck. Since the release, the Dreamvast from Venna has been one of the fastest selling consoles in history, but lately it seems that the anticipation of the upcoming PlayStation 2 is slowing down sales. Uh, well, of course it is. Because it's a goddamn revolutionary machine, whereas the Dreamvast was crap. Get rid of these bugs, please. It seems that the market's normalized at the moment. Okay, well, that's good. Finish. Alright, tons of experience. New combo. Leveled up our level design, leveled up our sound, released the game, released the game, Easter eggs, oh, Easter eggs and soundtrack, excellent. Yeah, we'll research them, right, develop, wait, generate a game report, who's going to generate my game report, fuck. What's this, PC software juggernaut Micronoft has announced today that they will enter the game console with their very own X, what was that, Mbox? First demonstrations have been impressive, but we'll we'll have to wait to see your face, yeah, yeah, let me see how fucking my game does. The first reviews are in, oh shit. Oh god, oh no! If I don't get a 4. I don't care, just get me a 4. Fun at stages, Game Hero, yeah, I like you, Game Hero. Okay, thank god I'm not gonna get the penalty from Blue Bit Games. Okay, we need to generate a game report, we did really badly! Yeah, put your System 2 out, okay. Can you research, please? Ugh. We may have to make, make a new engine. Um, can we just develop... What, what, what is a uh, great custom engine? What are we missing from our engine? Video playback multiplayer. AI. Better AI and AI companions and stereo sound. <sighs> we can turn that off. Um... I want to get 3D Graphics V2. I think once I get 3D Graphics V2, I'll, I'll do it. Mono sound can go off and that can go on. Right, so that is our, a, um, that's a pretty nice engine. That is open world as well. Hmm. Alright. Bluebit game the meets the required ratings. Only just though. <laughs> It's selling not a lot of units. It's certainly no, um, the Man of Iron. Uh, the launch of the PlayStation has been a phenomenal success. Stores are out of stock because manufacturers can barely keep up. Fans have resorted to buying the console on internet auction sites for as much as five times the normal price. Love well, Only's managed to successful launch unit sales as Dreamvast have plummeted. Yeah, Dreamvast did not do well. You, go on vacation. Stop that. Team Vitress, we got military and action is a good combination. AI seems to be important for this type of game. Oh, my AI was so low. 
All right. Mbox has been delayed. Jared, what are you doing? You're going to get fired, son, if you don't come back to work. Oh, my God. All right. Research, please. No, wait. Nalzi, I want you to train. I want you to train in speed design. Oh, wait. There's more. Practice, practice, practice. What's this? Oh, it's the G3 stuff. Oh, this is the stuff I was looking for earlier. Okay. The Time Trials Game Innovation Challenge. Let's do that one. I want Nalzi to train up because um, if he doesn't, then um, TD Graphics V3. What I'm going to want in Easter eggs. Hmm. Do I want Easter eggs? I think I do. Raw design. Probably that. Uh, yeah. Day night cycle is more important than Easter eggs, I'd say. Okay, we'll make this a just long video. This is my video for the day. Nazi, could you please hurry up with your uh, training? Oh god, I'm not gonna go to G3. I'm sorry, I can't afford it. To develop a sequel, right? We're gonna develop a sequel to um, one of our big games. Where's Tony Hawk's super? Po not super pool boy. Oh, Evie's Halloween dress up, of course. Why did we put that fashion simulator for PC? That was a good game. Why did would have done well in the um gameling maybe? Shank shank. <laughs> Fuck. In your pet no mole. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a good one. Virtual pet sim. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh still ain't yo pet. <laughs> All right, uh, virtual pet sim. Can we make a casual, a casual virtual pet simulator? Um, pick a platform. Um, the gameling, of course. Pick a professional two point. Yeah, gameling. Yeah, virtual pet sim cash. Okay, three D graphics v one. Yes, we are scraping the barrel. Could I lose the game here? Who knows. It's not telling me, it's not telling me the stuff. Oh shit, oh shit, why did I go casual? Can I cancel this? Can I cancel the game? Oh no, I for, why did I do it? Why could I not have just stuck to my guns? Can I escape? Can I escape this? I don't want to make this game anymore. That was a mistake. Okay, gameplay, oh shit. Story quest, it's a sim, it's a sim. Uh, engine, yeah, 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 gameplay. Fuck, I have no idea. Uh, yeah, okay, oh no. We could be going out of business here. We could be going out of business here. We are fucking scraping for the barrel. Yeah, yeah. Dialogues, no. That was designed, whatevs. There. Marketing. The last money that we have. Fuck off, Team Fivetress. Guys, we need to hurry. Your bank account's in the red. Thank you for your bank account's needed an overdraw of 200k. Oh my god, I'm nearly going bankrupt. Oh my god, come on. Graphic, world design, sound. Okay, look at this. There. Oh my god. Still ain't yo pet. Why did I pick casual? I just, in my head, it will work as a casual game for the game. Like, I don't know why. Finish. It seems you have some serious financial difficulties and your company is about to go bankrupt. Care for consider we have decided to offer you a deal. We will give you 700,000, of which you can move out of the danger zone, but in return you have to commit to pay... N uh, 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 fine! <laughs> fine! I was just about to do it. I was just about to get lots of money. Release game. Through graphics v2, thank fuck. About time. Oh, come on. I need I need so much money. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Oh! It's a 10! Come on! What's oh, another 10? They're focusing on gameplay. Save this game very well! Come on. Come on. Give me a 9. Give me a 9. At least a 9. You fuckers, game hero. A 10. A masterpiece. A fucking masterpiece! Oh, that's it. You piss off on vacation. You... Generate that game report like it's the fucking Dickens. The sales are fucking flying in. 
the newest game in the series title still like your pet was met with great responses oh the money the money how do i pay back my my loan virtual pet is a great combination engine seems to be not very important that's good i put the engine really low okay Oof, we're in the green again we're in the green oh my god that was a close fucking call okay okay um how do i pay back that debt can i can i do that publishing deal what have we got in the publishing deals A seven I uh, hospital's not researched. A hospital. A hospital action? From um hmm, an action. That's interesting. Nine twelve Royal was forty fourteen percent. A dungeon RPG. A dungeon RPG with fourteen percent royalties, that's a Oh, play system two. A dungeon art a dungeon RPG, we've not done one then, have we? Any topic in a genre? Oh, fuck. Okay, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, the surprise set of this year is still in your pet by Best and Greatest Games. In this type of game, the core gameplay mechanics are really important, and the developers nailed it to Best and Greatest Game. Keep the hits coming, please. Smiley face. You shouldn't really be using smiley faces in um, your articles, but that's fine. I'm not here to judge you. We did it, folks. We're back in the green. That was a fucking close one, though. So we owe 1.7 million to that company, right? Whoever that was. Um, so we need to sell out. We need cash. We need dollar dollar bills. So forget all of these. Oh, I've got a great new idea, Nalzi. I need I need you all to sell out. So let me hear some call of Nalzi's. Let me hear some some theme hospital in space suggestions. Let's hear some poke analyses. I don't fucking know. But leave them below because we need cash. Hope you enjoyed this extra long Game Dev Daikun. This is your two videos for today. Usually I try and put out two. This is your two. And I'll catch you all later. Whew, what a game. See you there. Bye! This is my outro song so that the vid doesn't end too hoo suddenly. Be sure to click like and vape and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh, and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vid, you beautiful people. That is all for now, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you all later. Oh god. Bye. Seriously, why are you still watching this? Go and subscribe and drop a comment below. God damn you, stop watching video. Click fave, drop a comment, I think you want to, but if you don't, well that's your opinion, I guess.